Hello, my name is Zhen Junxin, and my teammate is Chu Mei. We are part of Team Nine Nine Seven or SG One Seven One Two. We are from Singapore, and our school is Nanyang Primary School. Our team name is Nanyang Seven, and the team members are Zhen Junxin and Chu Mei. We are both eleven years old. We are from Singapore, and this is our first course-based competition. I have been learning robotics for the past year, and I have experience with Scratch and C++ programming. Maeve has also been learning robotics for the past year, and she has experience with Scratch. We are both part of our school's robotics CCA. The exclusive summary of the preliminary challenge: the challenge task is to collect objects and deposit them to earn as many points as possible. Along the way, we must avoid traps. The category we are participating in is Course Based Rescue U12. One of the problems we faced was that it was difficult to leave the X to Y zero zone confined by the obstacles as shown here. It is confined by a wall-like object, two walls, and a circular obstacle. The methods we did to solve this problem was to adjust and optimize the turning duration, which changes the turning angle of the robot. As a result, the robot escapes from the X to Y zero zone faster. It is able to quickly leave the zone after depositing the objects and return to places with more objects and to collect more objects. The analysis of the challenge mission is to get as many points as possible. We had to collect and deposit red, cyan, black, super, and super plus objects. We had to avoid the traps in the middle of the map and. Leave the deposit zone immediately after depositing, and return to places with more objects. If we break down this into three mini tasks, it will be object collection, trap avoidance, and object deposition. Our first AI algorithm is to only collect red, red, black, black, cyan, cyan objects unless there is a super or super plus object collected. For example. The robot is sensing a cyan object and it is not full yet. Hence, it will then check if the amount of cyan objects not deposited yet is less than two. If it is, the robot will collect the object. When the robot senses a super or super plus object, it will collect the object as long as it is not full. As shown here, the robot already has two red objects, and when it senses the red object, it will not collect it. However, as the robot ha has only one black object, it will collect the black object as it senses it, and it will go and deposit the objects. Our second AI algorithm is to turn away from the trap only if the robot is loaded. If the robot is loaded, it will turn left when the right sensor is sensing the yellow monitor of the trap, and it will turn right if the left sensor or both of the sensors are sensing the yellow warning zone. As shown here, the robot is loaded. Hence, when it senses the yellow warning zone of the trap, it will turn away. However, in this case, there are no loaded objects in the robot. Hence, when it senses the yellow warning zone of the trap, it will enter the trap as it saves time and there is nothing to lose. Our third AI algorithm is whenever the robot is passing by the deposit zone. The robot will deposit the objects as long as the loaded object is more than or equal to three. As shown here, although the robot is not fully loaded, it has more than three objects, and hence it will deposit within a deposit zone. Now it is going to places with more objects to collect objects. Our last AI algorithm is to leave the X to Y zero zone immediately after depositing, as mentioned earlier. It is confined by many obstacles, and there are less objects in this zone. Once the robot enters the zone, it will find it hard to leave. To solve this problem, we change the turning duration of the robot from 0.25 seconds to 0.15 seconds instead. This will ch change the turning angle of the robot, allowing the robot to leave the deposit zone faster. After we did this, the robot is able to leave the deposit zone much faster than before. Debugging.
Sometimes the robot does not do what it is expected to do. This is usually due to typing errors or wrong sequence of the program. To solve this, we ran through the program and made sure everything is properly written and sequenced. Conclusion and further work. By implementing the various AI algorithms, we managed to get 800 to 1000 more points. If we were asked to solve the same challenge again, we will further investigate how to let the robot towards the deposit zone faster once it is fully loaded. Learning experience. Core space rescue is not easy to program. Patience is definitely needed if you wish to do well. A good program requires time, effort, patience, and lots of practice. We have learned a lot from previous participants, such as SG6023 from Virtual RoboCop 2020. We were impressed by how he was able to collect objects and control a robot so smoothly, and we wish to do the same. Lastly, always persevere. As the quote from Nelson Mandela says, it always seems impossible until it's done. This is so true. Although Cold Space Rescue is not easy to program at first, it will be easy once you get the hang of it. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your kind attention.